Hi, natural grandma. Hi. Where are you at? I am out at my raised garden beds. Oh. It says you're sweeter than honey. Yeah, well. That's your bee shirt? That's my bee shirt. So, I'm at raised beds that's got the chicken compost in it. I've showed our viewers some views of this before, but what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm pulling out our cover crop. And we, we had oats that we planted in here. As soon as we got it all ready, early, early spring before anything else, actually you planted oats all through here and they just grow up huge. The whole beds were covered with them. And that was to add nutrients into the soil, protect the soil from erosion, and um, keep me weed free, which is pretty much done. You see there's just a couple of horse weeds that have come in here, but yeah. most, most everything is just the oats. And so I've been gradually feeding the oats to my chickens and my goats and my sheep. I just harvest them, but now we're at the point where we need to get them all pretty much out. We're going to put a little bit of corn right in here. Okay. So I'm drying it. All right. And that's going to make like uh, some preserved feed for uh, uh, like a you or a doe that's by herself, something yeah. like that. Because you're just yeah. going to store that. Rather than let it just rot. Yeah. Because it's too much for everybody to eat right now. The goats and sheep are eating fresh stuff and and the chickens have plenty of forage, so we'll save this this way for when, um, when it's when it's useful. So it's not it's not just a hmm. plant and destroy crop. Well, that's a that's an amazing growth of stuff. And oh, yeah. so, what kind of day are you having today? I'm having a great day. A natural grandma day. A natural grandma day. We wish you was having this great a day. Yeah, absolutely. So. You're putting that up in the trellises. Now those trellises are going to be used later for, it looks like maybe tomatoes. Yeah, so here's some tomatoes that are growing up. This one's already got um, a couple of blossoms on it. Uh, cucumbers are going to come up on this side. And that trellis over there has beans on it. Uh, oh, okay. beans on one side, green beans on the other. Whoops. Yeah, I took a video of me for a minute. Okay, so, and now we're going to plant a little bit of sweet corn in here, uh -huh. and we're just planting just enough for just to have some fresh mushes for ourselves, yeah. and the reason we're planting the corn is because these beds are just large with nitrogen from all that yeah. poultry litter, so we're trying to grow crops that will utilize the nitrogen, and then maybe this fall we can grow something else, and because we recognize by what these oats look like, you don't need to send off and get a soil test, folks. When you grow oats that are just now putting out a little seed head, see that one there is putting a little seed head out. And they're? Uh, and they're like three feet tall, and they got that dark, dark, I call it, the old timers call that black green. That is nitrogen that's making that. That's nitrogen that's making that um, giant ragweed I refer to as a horseweed grow three feet tall and have that dark green color so we can recognize a lot about our soils just by what grows out of them and so we're going to put some corn in here and that's not the preferred thing to do in a raised bed natural grandma said how in the world will we ever harvest it and i said you know i can reach eight feet tall so it's handy to have that man around like that so, so i, I want to show you how where i'm pulling this out where it's dense how the ground is still really moist it's not dried out at all um that's what a cover crop does and so where I have planted other things I'm planting marigolds like around my tomatoes I've planted a bunch of marigold um, seeds so they're gonna start coming up real quick because I want to keep that ground protected and I'll add some mulch in but I'm also gonna um, integrate some basil and oregano and thyme um, so I'll have them for seasoning but they'll also serve as ground cover to help keep this like what I'm pulling out. Wow. These these beds are a learning experience for me. I've farmed all my life natural grandma, but um in in fields. So I have knowledge but not in raised beds and uh but the convenience of having a raised bed and a trellis and like I say she's using the trellises right now just to dry oats. 
to have a little bit of uh, sweet kid feed or something, you know, just for a specific little little home project that maybe needed extra TLC. We'll have that stored for winter, and we try to graze everything as much as we can. But And you have plans to do more raised beds here yep. in the future as yeah. we get these going. We'll just keep adding yep. some. They're, uh, in case you're wondering, they're, they're 12 feet long, and they're, what, about four feet wide. Four feet wide. And, uh, and I, I designed them specifically so that our 5 by 10 chicken tractor will go right through yeah. between them. So we're, we're matting down all this nitrogen-grown fescue in the middle here because the, the, the compost actually leached out into that ground and the fescue around these beds grow like uh, something that's got 300 pounds of nitrogen on it because they probably do. And so... We can mat this down, that just puts carbon on the ground, and then later she can bring hens through here and harvest what regrows from that. So anytime you're putting carbon down, we call ourselves, you know, chicken carbon cowboys. Uh, we are also carbon cowboys, you know, with our cows, but right now we're, we're raised bed carbon cowboys. So that same idea of putting down the carbon and letting the microbes and the earthworms have their way. Let the soil work for you and you just be in sync with it is what we're trying to learn. And it's a learning process. We'd love your comments. Please like, please share. Uh, check out Natural Grandma on the Roots So Deep. What's the rest of that? Natural Grandma I always get it wrong. Um, you can see the devil down there. Yeah, roots so deep. You can see the devil down there. Yeah, and that premieres today, I think. It's 28th. Yeah, I guess it's one more day, maybe. Yeah, one more day. Uh, you buy that through an app uh, on your phone or computer or iPad. And for 20 bucks, you can watch it as many times as you want. It's a four and a half hour documentary of science and research, 10 years with with 10 farms five by five comparisons of conventional grazing versus regenerative and it proves the science of all this not just our rotational management grazing our amp grazing it proves the science of the chicken tractors it proves the science of the raised beds of how you can grow cover crops uh, this winter we'll probably add carbon and add you know probably more soil because it is raised beds. We can just add soil to them, but we'll mix carbon in and also a nitrogen source because that's what feeds the microbes. They come and feed off of the nitrogen, you know, the cow manure in the fields, the chicken manure under the chicken tractors. So we'll have to add a little of that to this or else put a chicken tractor up on top of there. I've never thought about that. We have four foot by six foot chicken tractors, Natural Grandma. Yeah. And these things are four foot by 12 foot long. So if we put two chicken tractors up on top of this and put hens in there, they would till in the compost and the carbon and add their manure and you wouldn't have to touch it. Or, or what? You could come out an hour before dusk, let your chickens out right here, encourage them to get up, and then they're going to put themselves back to bed. No lifting involved. Oh. Okay, yeah, you, you could do that. I can't use power and mechanics and bolts and strength. You're wanting me to use intelligence? Do it easy. Yeah. Intelligence? <laughs> That's a funny thing, Nacho Grandma. <laughs> I never thought about that. Watching you put your hands in the earth, what, what does that do for the soul, do you know? All those microbes just energize and bring I, peace. I think you just squeezed a few of them to death. No. You didn't? I'm squeezing them that tight. Okay. They're Be giving me. It's okay. Okay. They're, and, they're feeding me right and now. And you also have an electromagnetic energy in you through your feet or hands when it touches the earth that is discharging into the saw and it wakes up microbes. Did you know yeah. that? Yes, I have been learning about that. Yeah, that's wild. So it goes both ways. That's like a Psalms 139 lesson. They're right after he knit us together in our mother's womb. Go on and read further where it talks about 
he took us from the elements of the earth to form our frame. Yeah, study that a while. That's why when our hands touch the soil or our, our bare feet, anything that's not insulated, um, you wouldn't want to wear rubber gloves when you're doing this or rubber boots when you're walking because when a cow walks over the earth, she discharges a, a electromagnetic energy out of her hoofs. Besides the tailing, she discharges energy that wakes up microbes and feeds them and gives them life. So, hmm. And the science proves that in roots so deep. You can see the devil down there. Yeah. Make sure you check that out. It tells our story. It tells what Papa Hank's been doing for 45 years. And that your grandma's been dreaming about it for about that long and did a lot of it with gardening and raised beds. And so when we came together, we got to blend a lot of knowledge. If I could just just receive it more, I think we'd go farther. What do you think, Natural Grandma? I think I hope y'all are having such a good day. Yes. We wish you was having this great a day. Natural Grandma in the raised beds. Get out in the dirt. Get in the dirt. Don't forget about our fallen soldiers today. By the way, fallen soldiers, Papa Hank here, Patriot Guard Rider, standing in line for you, thanking you for your service. Good day.